is up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out another video, guys. Really appreciate that. If you could just hit that like button, that would be amazing. And if you're new to the channel and you want more videos on all things metal, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So, guys, um, I'm sure you've seen it all over YouTube. I don't know why, but lately there's been a lot of people talking about uh, prep stacking and you can't eat silver or gold, right? I'm sure you've seen the titles from multiple different YouTube channels, but I kind of want to explain a couple things and obviously this is my belief, so I'm just talking from my belief, but prep stacking, I'm going to give you three reasons why it makes no sense at all. When it comes to gold and silver, it makes zero sense. Now I believe in buying ammunition, I believe in stacking um, canned foods that could you know last a long time water, things like that, I do believe in having somewhat of a supply just in case something. And I'm in Florida, so I constantly have that stuff because we get hurricanes um, <laughs> coming out of nowhere. So we need to be ready. And last year, um, I was a little late and I didn't have any water kind of stored already. And it was difficult to find water. So I didn't want to go through that again. So I've learned to uh, just keep a constant supply of water. So I have a whole closet full of water and canned foods. So that I believe in. Now, if you're a prep stacker, you could be using that um, X amount of dollars that you're spending um, on gold and silver, that wasted money on gold and silver and putting it into things like that, things you do need for survival. So the first thing I wanna talk about, one of the main focuses of prep stacking is having different size gold and different size silver, right? Because prep stackers believe that gold and silver will be used to barter. So this is a half ounce and this is a quarter ounce. So I do not stack this stuff. This is stuff that I give away during my live auctions. Um, half ounce here, quarter ounce there. Little by little, we do this jackpot thing and I give it all away. If it's free, obviously, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a half ounce, quarter ounce, but if you have that intention or that mindset that this will be used for barter, you're gonna spend a lot more money. A half ounce right now, they're going for around $17, $18. That's about $34 an ounce if you're doing fractionals. If you go smaller, it's even worse. So if you go to a quarter ounce, one tenth ounce, those real small sizes, you're spending way more, just like gold. So a gold fractional, the smaller you go, the more you pay, right? And I'm a firm believer of, you know, especially if you're a new stacker, of buying the one tenth ounce and getting your feet wet with gold starting at the one tenth ounce the one tenth ounce is a great size to start with because you have the demand. A lot of people want the one tenth ounce because it's affordable. The size is good, 3.1 grams of gold. And the premium is really not that bad. If you start going into the 120th, 125th, and so on and so forth, you're starting to pay way more premium and the demand starts to come down a lot. So I found that the one tenth ounce is right in that perfect sweet spot for a new gold stacker. Silver, complete opposite. There's almost no demand for half ounce, quarter ounce, one tenth ounce, grams of silver, almost none. It is only the prep stackers and you're gonna spend a lot more money when you could be putting it that extra money into things like this, bullets, canned foods, water, things like that. So when it comes to fractional silver, it's a waste. Now, if you do 100%, even though I'm telling you I don't believe in it, believe that one day you will need to barter with your silver, make it easy on yourself, buy some silver shot. That's it, that's all you need. Buy 20 ounces of silver shot and you have all the fractional silver you will ever need to barter. Just gotta weigh it out. Now, the next thing when it comes to prep stacking is recognizable pieces. So a lot of the preppers want to have the most recognizable piece of silver, the most recognizable piece of gold, 
So that usually limits them to what? American Eagles and Maples. That's usually what it is. The problem with that is, especially now, you see the premiums on American Silver Eagles, you see the premium on the Maples starting to go up and starting to catch up with the Eagles as well. You are essentially eliminating a lot of good deals on foreign gold, especially foreign gold. Now, foreign silver, eh, not too much. Uh, usually foreign silver has a premium um, more than the Eagles, more than the Maples, but gold is the complete opposite. These right here, you can get close to spot. Now it's a little more difficult with the way things are, but these are standard Boolean coins. Any gold stacker is gonna know what a Helvetia is or what a Sovereign is. These are very common and a lot of the preppers don't buy this stuff and you will save tons of money by buying this type of gold rather than sticking to those government backed pieces that are recognizable. When everything comes down to it, let's say we do have that SHTF scenario, you are not gonna be able to trade your gold and silver to anyone that doesn't know what it is. So if someone is gonna accept your silver or accept your gold, it's gonna be someone that knows about it. I'm not gonna give up my cup of ramen noodles for a piece of silver that I don't even know what it is, I don't know if it's real, what am I gonna do with this afterwards? Am I gonna find somebody else that's gonna want it? My family needs food and water. What am I gonna do with silver? So that's why you're seeing those titles on YouTube. You can't eat gold and silver. That's where that comes from. Uh, another piece of advice, if you do want something that is recognizable um, and it can be proven uh, the verified on the spot, I always recommend these. Sunshine Mint Bars. So in the in the event this does happen and you do need to trade with your silver and gold, these can be verified on the spot. One of the problems is verifying. People are not gonna want your silver because they don't know if it's real. Just because it's stamped it's real. There's a lot of skeptical people and we've seen it. We've seen counterfeits. It says $9.99, $1, all the things an American Eagle has. Now imagine somebody that doesn't know how to spot a fake. They're not gonna want it. They don't wanna take the chance. This could be verified on the spot. All you need is that decoder card that I've showed in a lot of videos. Uh, unfortunately, I sold it to someone, so I'm getting my new one, a uh, couple new ones coming in to uh, resell and also have it for myself. But verified on the spot. You put it one way, it says valid. You put it another way, it says um, it turns into like a starburst. I love any silver that can be verified on the spot. And the great thing about Sunshine Mint stuff not recently, but back in the day when silver was in its normal 15, 16 an ounce, they were pretty close to spot. There wasn't that much of a premium and you're getting silver that is easily recognizable and uh, verifiable on the spot. So this is very recognizable to anyone that understands gold and silver. And for anyone that doesn't, it can be verified on the spot. They see that holographic thing, thing that says valid in the starburst, it's a lot easier to convince them of its um, its validness <laughs> that way, rather than just saying, trust me, look, it has stamps that say 999. Look, it has a stamp that says $1. This is real silver, I promise. This actually shows um, that it's valid. And the next thing is, guys, um, I don't believe gold and silver will be bothered with at all. In the event there is that type, and another thing you gotta consider, things have to get beyond bad to the point where gold and silver will need to be used as barter. Um, it, and we have proven, and I've said this in multiple videos, human beings are very adaptable and there will be a solution a lot faster than you guys think. Uh, unless we're going six months to a year with no food coming in and food supplies just damaged, whatever, um, I don't see gold and silver being bartered with. I just don't, especially if everybody's fighting for food and water. I just don't see it. So that mentality can get you in a lot of trouble. You could be spending a lot more money with prep stacking in your mind. Now, the last point I wanna make to anyone that is a prep stacker, um, I'm not attacking you guys. I just wanna make a point and save you guys some money. Put your money 
that I'm saving you into some bullets. And I recommend these for the house. Nice uh, hollow tips. But, you know, put your money somewhere else. Somewhere that is really going to be valuable. Like water, food. I think bullets will be traded more often than silver and gold will, to be honest with you. If it gets really crazy. But the point I want to make, and this is where I say that prep stacking makes zero sense. I am not a prep stacker whatsoever. Not at all. I don't, none of my silver is bought in, with the intention of, you know, I'm going to be bartering with this one day. Uh, let me get some one fourth ounce because I don't want to overpay for things. I want to have those smaller pieces of silver and gold to be able to, you know, you can't make change. You can't break silver in half. You can't, you know what I mean? So that mentality, I have none of it. None. When I stack. In the event you do need to trade your gold and silver, let's say it does happen, I'm completely wrong, and you do need your gold and silver. We find out gold and silver all of a sudden, that's the, the standard for trade, right? Even if you're not a prep stacker and you're just a regular gold and silver stacker, guess what? You have gold and silver. Even though you had no intention of buying it, with the hopes of maybe bartering with it, bartering with it down the road or anything. You have it in your possession. So that prep stacking mentality is only costing you money because when everything's said and done, in a way, even though we don't say it, even if you're in it for as an investment, as a hedge, to pass down through the generations in your family, you have gold and silver. And if there is a day you need to barter with it, you have it already. And those little small denominations are you know, not gonna make or break uh, your bartering. It's just not gonna happen. And like I said, you wanna fix that problem right away? Just buy 20 ounces of shot and you can just weigh it on the spot and that's it. Shot silver is close to spot. You can get a good uh, price on it and it literally will fill any size that you need. So that's my opinion, guys. Um, I've never believed in prep stacking. That's pretty much it. Never believed in it. But if you ever do need to barter with your gold and silver, just by being a gold and silver stacker, you are already um, prepared for that day. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking it out. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Um, I would love to hear different point of views on the topic, obviously. Um, I always read the comments. Even if I don't respond, I do read them. So, yeah. But anyways, thank you for checking out this video. And I will talk to you guys later.